This is an OEM Chinese ballistic plate that we will shoot today. Oops. So what's the spiel? Recently we did a video testing some Chinese made ballistic plates that were sent to us as sample and a lot of you guys in the comments noted that maybe those were hand selected especially for the test. So we listened. What we did is source an OEM manufacturer in China that makes ballistic plates and we bought 24 of them. We even used a different account so they had no idea who they are selling the plates to. Now from those plates, I selected one random one that we will shoot today and see how it performs. The specifications say that this should be a level four rated plate made from a composite of alumina ceramics and a high density polyethylene. Now the plates are not completely identical, but I suspect that there are a couple of OEM manufacturers of ballistic plates in China and all of the other companies just rebrand them and sell them. Apart from the color and graphic, these plates use very similar materials in construction, but this one is single curve, but we went for multi-curve because it was the same price. The corners of the plate are lined with foam to protect the ceramic on impact. Oops. Personally, I don't think that modern ballistic plates lose any ballistic properties, even if they're cracked. But of course, we have to try this, so you guys won't say that we didn't. We shot the plate from a close range of 10 meters with two rounds of 5.56 from a 16 inch AR with a suppressor. Then we continued on to 7.62 by 39 from the AKB rifle, also with a 16 inch barrel. And we concluded with a hefty 308 round with a 180 grain projectile from Celerium below. Zero penetration. For those that are new to our channel, we do not have access to ballistically rated clay. So this is just normal soft clay in a shitty plastic wrapping. This is why you see the damage. So what you see here is the transfer of energy and it deforms the clay and because it's so soft, it sometimes even squirts out. But there is zero penetration. The plate has stopped all of the projectiles. The back face deformation is barely noticeable on 5.6 rounds. You can see it on the 7.62 by 39 and it's definitely a big bulge on a 308. Now despite the slow motion looks crazy with all of the ceramic pieces flying out of the plate, it's actually not as bad as we've seen on some other plates. Because this one seems to use some kind of aramid fibers on the front to keep the pieces of the ceramic in and also to reduce the overall damage of the ceramic. Now yes, the ceramic is shattered around this shot, but even just these pieces of ceramic staying in the plate will do better than if this will be a big hole with no ceramic at all. If you imagine a consequential hit near the first one, if there's no ceramic at all, it has a high probability to go through the plate. This is good because it's harder to break ceramic in these smaller pieces that can a bit move around and are more flexible than actually a whole front face from single piece of ceramic. And a second thing, when a bullet hits this piece, it will break up and maybe break a couple of pieces next to it, but it will localize the damage. This means that less ceramic is destroyed, less ceramic is thrown out of the plate, which means that the ballistic plate retains more of its ballistic capabilities for multiple hits, even close by. 
low price and great quality. This plate is amazing. So what's the catch? One way to save the cost of the production is put foam around the ceramic. This is actually not that controversial because a lot of plate manufacturers do this. Now the idea here is that the NIJ testing says that if a hit is closer than one inch to the side of the plate, it is not valid. So the manufacturers figured that even if they don't put ceramic completely to the edge, it will still pass the test. So as a result, this foam edge here offers less protection and as a user, you're receiving less ceramic for your money. So not from edge to edge, but a bit less. We also have to be realistic here. The type of rounds that we fire today and the velocities could be passed by a level three plus plate. Unfortunately, we are forbidden to use military armor penetration rounds in Slovenia as civilians, but we will try to work around it. But in the meantime, we can send one of these plates to Buffman range if he's up to the challenge to properly test it to NIJ level four standard. Approved by Polenar. 